real estate terms. Home in Riverside. I'm your host, Ann Downing with Century 21 Now Realty. I'm going to go over common real estate terms. You may find this useful if you're a first time buyer, especially. Let's start with the first real estate term adjustable rate mortgage. The interest rate is tied to a financial index, making the monthly mortgage payment go up or down over time. A lot of people try and go for fixed percentage rate for a mortgage. This way you have no surprises with your monthly payment increasing. Annual percentage rate. This is the percent of interest that will be charged on a home loan. Appraisal. A report highlighting the estimated value of the property completed by a qualified third party. This is typically done for the benefit of the buyer or the buyer's lender to ensure the property is worth the purchase price. Association fee or HOA fee. In addition to a mortgage, certain housing communities such as townhomes or even a lot of homes in Corona have a monthly fee associated with maintaining the common areas and the amenities. And that is called an HOA fee. Balloon mortgage. This is a long-term mortgage loan that starts small, but has a large payment due to a maturity. Closing. When the new title of the property is officially recorded by the county recorder's office, an ownership of the property transfers to the new buyer. Closing cost. The buyer and seller have expenses associated with the transaction other than that of the actual cost of the home. For example, the buyer has a variety of fees due to obtaining a new loan and the seller must pay commission to both agents. Closing Disclosure This is a form that provides the final details about the mortgage loan. You should look over this pretty closely. It includes loan terms, projected monthly payments, and how much the extra fees will be. This should match what the good faith estimate the mortgage loan company gave to you at the beginning after you filled in your mortgage application. Collateral. This is something of value. In this case, it's your home that is held to ensure repayment of a mortgage or a loan. That's my cat meowing. Commission, a payment of the sales price of the home that is paid to the agents. Now this means it's a percentage. Uh, that's going to be negotiable between the seller and the agents. The seller pays commission to both the buyer and the listing agent. If you have a buyer's agent helping you buy a home, you shouldn't be paying them any fees. Comparables, homes in the area of interest that are recently sold that have similar features. I will give you, the seller, a comparable market value analysis. And I look at comparable homes that are similar to yours and have sold recently. And that will come up with a good price per square footage of what your home should sell for. Contingencies. These are conditions which must be met in order to close. Contingencies are typically tied to a date referred to as a deadline. If the contingency is not satisfied, the contract may be canceled. So let's say you have a loan contingency, saying you must be able to get a loan uh, within so many days of an offer being made and escrow opening up. If you don't get your loan within that day uh, period that you promised to get in your offer, then the seller could actually cancel the contract. Counteroffer. The response from the seller in regard to an offer. There aren't too many counteroffers happening now. The uh, sellers at the seller market are taking the highest and best offer usually, but you might run across a counteroffer now and then. Debt to income ratio. 
Ask your lender about this, about what percentage you need. But a lender will evaluate whether a borrower's income is large enough to handle their repayments of existing debts, plus their new mortgage payment. That's called the debt to income ratio. Down payment, a percentage of the cost of the property that is paid up front as a part of the mortgage. Earnest money, the deposit made from the buyer to the seller when submitting an offer. This, depo this deposit is typically held in a trust by a third party or an escrow company, and upon closing, the money will generally be applied to the down payment or closing cost. Escrow, this term has multiple meanings. It could be earnest money is typically held by a third party until closing in escrow. It also can be referred to as time period from when the contract is written and accepted by the seller to when the home sale actually closes. Equity, the difference in the market value of a home versus what is owed on the home. FHA, a mortgage that is financed through a private lender and insured by the Federal Housing Administration, often requiring a lower down payment and income to qualify. Home equity line of credit, a loan or a line of credit that your lender may offer using the equity in your home as collateral. Home inspection, the process in which professional inspects the seller's home for issues that may not be readily apparent and then creates a report for the buyer to review. I always recommend to my buyers that they get a home inspection. It's very useful to know what's going on with the house. Home protection plan. This is a one-year service that covers the cost of repairs or replacements to items covered in the plan, such as stoves, dishwashers, air conditioners, heaters, etc. So a home warranty is something that you should request when you're buying a home. They usually have a deductible, let's say $75, and that's what you would pay before uh, the house uh, problem gets fixed. So you call up your home warranty company, they send out a repair person, you pay 75 bucks to them, even if it costs hundreds or thousands to repair, you only pay the $75. But it depends on the plan. Hybrid, a loan that starts with a fixed rate period then converts to an adjustable rate. Mortgage insurance, also known as PMI. I wrote a video on that. If you wanna look into that, what is PMI? Please search for that video. And mortgage insurance, what is it? It's insurance written in connection with a mortgage loan that protects the lender in the event the borrower cannot repay their loan. This is usually not required if the borrower puts more than 20% down for the down payment on the, the house they want to purchase. Mortgage note, a promise to pay a sum of money at a standard interest rate during a specific term that is secured by a mortgage. Multiple listing service, the national list of real estate properties that are available for sale. These are the most reliable sources to receive up-to-date listing information. A realtor will be a member of their local MLS. I belong to CRMLS, and that's where I draw the information for telling people what houses are available and what's pending. Pre-approval. This process in which the lender makes an initial evaluation of how much money a buyer might be qualified to borrow based on the preliminary financial information provided in their application. This is gonna give the seller more confidence in the buyer's ability to close escrow, but it's not a guarantee that you will actually get approved for the loan. But if you're gonna make an offer, you're gonna to have to have a pre-qualification letter or pre-approval letter from a lender uh, accompanying your offer. Principal, the underlying amount of the loan which is actually borrowed. Property taxes, these are stacked taxes that are enforced by the city, town, country, and state government entities. Sometimes they're included in the total monthly mortgage payment paid to the lender, and sometimes they're paid directly by the homeowner. This is usually determined when you first get the loan. You can ask for an escrow impound account so they can impound the taxes and pay them so you don't have to come up with the money when the taxes are due. REO, real estate owned properties or foreclosed properties that are currently owned by financial institutions such as a bank that made the loan to the previous owner. Reverse mortgage, this is specifically for seniors and it allows them to convert the equity in their home to cash. 
Short sale, a situation when the seller's lender is willing to accept an offer and allows the sale to be completed for an amount less than the mortgage amount owed by the seller. Title, during escrow, especially in the beginning, there's gonna be a preliminary title report. You should look at that. Make sure there's no issues with the title or the ownership. What's title? It's a legal document proving current and proper ownership of the property. It's also referred to as a title deed. This document highlights the history of property ownership and transfers. Underwriting. The process in which the potential home buyer is evaluated for their financial ability to obtain and repay a loan. This normally includes a credit check and an appraisal of the property. So normally when you write an offer, you're gonna put in a pre-qualification letter or a pre-approval letter Sometimes, in certain cases, the seller wants to have underwriter approval of the loan before you even get into escrow with them. So that's what underwriting is, and they give you an underwriter approval letter. And if you need more details, talk to your lender. The last term is VA loan. Special no down payment loans that are available to Americans who have served in the armed forces. We appreciate the people who served in our armed forces, and this is one of the benefits that are given to them. These loans are issued by private lenders and are guaranteed by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Well, that's it for today. I hope you appreciate um, me going through all these terms for you. If you have a question about a specific term that I didn't cover, call me at my number shown on the screen, and you can even email me or text me. Until next time, this is Anne signing off. Take care. Please like and subscribe below.